Meanwhile, Cam, Champions League games in the States. Tell us more. Yeah, this isn't a this isn't a new thing. I mean, I think uh, you know Cheffrin threw it out there three or four years ago, the UEFA president. Um, but it's come back to the fore this week. UEFA's executive committee meeting in uh, uh, in Croatia on the lovely island of Hvar. I Ooh. hope I'm pronouncing it uh, correctly. The, the Pulisic family, no doubt, could pronounce it better than I can. Um, and then uh, later, the European Clubs Association meeting in Istanbul as well. This is on the table. The idea is that you know. Is this something we want to do? Is it going to be lucrative? The answer to that is probably yes. How lucrative? Is it worth our while? Is it going to upset fans? I think at this stage, the only things that don't, what they're probably considering uh, is what's been talked about before. You know, rather than having a Super Cup between the Europa League winner uh, and the Champions League winner, what if you had uh, in preseason to sort of kick off your season, what if you had some sort of Final Four tournament Maybe you invite the, 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 the two Champions League finalists from the previous year, plus the Europa League and, and the Europa Conference League winner, um, and you have something maybe in the U.S. You know, would that be more appealing than, than some of those uh, uh, summer tours uh, th that we see? Uh, the, 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 the broader backdrop to this is obviously clubs wanting more and more and more revenue. And it's not just the games that bring you revenue, it's the exposure when you travel abroad. That's why you have them abroad rather than uh, in Europe, or rather I should say outside Europe. Um, and probably to some degree as well, you know, UEFA wanting to kind of elbow their way a little bit on the global stage. Uh, you know, I, I think it's an open secret that the relationship, while supposedly it's, it's thawing between, uh, you know, UEFA and Comebol on one side and FIFA on the other, um, you know, hasn't been great in the past. They've clashed. Uh, is this a way of, of expanding UEFA's footprint a little bit? And how will FIFA and, and CONCACAF as well, I would assume, how would they react to it? So um, that's why this is on the table. I don't expect anything concrete other than perhaps, you know, some sort of working group to go and study this possibility. Um, I don't expect anything else to come out of it at this stage. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.